Hey folks, so I'm going to talk a little bit about sadness. Um, I think there's a bigger problem than sadness itself, which is, ironically, uh, resisting sadness. It seems like everybody's so afraid of sadness. It's either they're either afraid of it, or they stigmatize it, or something. They view it as negative. Now, I want to distinguish sadness. Or, yeah, something like that. Sadness and depression. They're two different things, in my opinion. Depression is a, a conglomerate. It's not just one emotion. It's emptiness, extreme sadness, lethargy, and all of these things that com combine to create this big problem. That's not the same as sadness. I think sadness is one emotion within uh, the conglomerate of depression. Okay? So now I'm talking about sadness, not depression. Now the big problem is that people resist sadness, or they s make synonymous sadness and depression. So, okay, obviously there's all of these positive psychology books and tapes and stuff on how to be happy. It's good to be happy. But there's lots of things in the New Age movement and in self-help books and stuff that, that say you should always be happy. That you should always be happy and you should not tolerate any unhappy emotions. Positive thinking. I think this is a mistake. Um because if you're sad there's a way to be sad and to feel good at the same time and people don't realize this because nobody says this nobody tells them it's a way to be sad and feel good at the same time because sadness doesn't have to be this terrible thing there's some beauty in sadness. That's, that's why there's sad art and sad paintings and and uh, music and all these things. And they're genuinely, generally considered beautiful by by some people. And so, yes, there's beauty in sadness. And um, so, what what is um, Sorry, I got lost. One second, let me get back on track. Alright, so there's beauty and sadness. Oh yeah, resistance. Yeah. So people resist it. I think it's because probably a lot of people are unhealthily they don't know how to deal with sadness so they don't know how to be sad healthily you know they don't know how to be sad and and be fine I think people panic when they get sad and they like they go this shouldn't be happening this shouldn't be happening and they get into this resistance mode that is just like pure panic and it's just what do, I, what do I do to fix this? What do I do to, you know, to, to, to not be sad? I need to be happy, you know. And it's just, see, if you're going to be sad that way, of course you're going to be, of course you're going to be like a, a wreck. What, if you're in that situation where you're sad and you're just like not dealing, not dealing with it, properly or not like if you're panicking and you're frustrated and you're angry because cause see all those are extra emotions that you don't need you you can be able to say you can be able to say you know life really sucks and I'm bored even though that's another emotion but you know there's some emotions linked together but you could be like 
you know, I'm bored, and I'm sad, and life sucks. And you can do that, and you can be just fine. <laughs> and I mean it. I mean it. I Like, perfectly fine. So, all you have to do is just say, say to yourself, well, the main thing that you have to li really do is not do anything besides feel. You allow yourself to feel the sadness. That's the number one thing to do. Allow yourself to feel it. Face it. Examine it. Feel it. And, um, and you realize that it's really not that bad. It's, it's the other things that make it bad. Well, that's, that's my experience anyway. So, um, this doesn't mean you have to be sad all the time. I'm not saying, yay sadness, be sad all the time. Yeah. You can be sad, you can be happy, you can be angry, you know, whenever you're feeling that way or whenever you, you, you try to will yourself to feel that way or, or whatever. You can have a plethora of emotions. And that's what I'm saying. Like, just allow yourself to... If you just allow yourself to feel the emotions and not resist any emotions, then then you can, can be honest with yourself and, and accept them as a part of you. And we all have all the emotions. We, well, well, some people don't have certain emotions, I guess, like supposedly psychopaths don't have any empathy or something. So, I, you know, I don't know. But most of us, normal individuals, have a whole bunch of emotions. And so it's a lot easier to just accept them. Accept that about yourself and not panic. And so I can be comfortably sad. I can be comfortably happy. And that allows me more range to be comfortable. You know? And who doesn't want comfort? That's really the main thing. Comfort is better than... Comfort is an overly, overlying thing, or underlying, whichever one you... You know, but it's a, it's a thing that we really want. Beneath all of this, I need to be sad, I need to be happy, I need to have this car, I need to blah, blah, blah. You know, underneath it all, what we want is emotional ease and comfort, I think. All right. Oh. How. Okay. If you didn't catch the how, how do you be comfortably sad? The, the main thing is feel it. Feel it. Face it. Accept it, embrace it. That's a. I did that by accident, but yes, feel it, examine it. All right, see ya.